Once a distant threat, the Delta variant of the coronavirus first identified in India has reached every corner of the United States, and it promises to live up to its name. The Greek letter Delta is a scientific shorthand for change. It's increasingly clear that the coronavirus strain that bears its name is on track to shift the pandemic's trajectory. The Delta variant is estimated to be 60% more transmissible than the next most infectious strain, the Alpha variant first detected in the United Kingdom. That means it spreads close to twice as readily as the original coronavirus. But vaccines can limit its havoc and more than 181 million Americans have received at least one dose. How much will this protection help against the Delta variant? Well, first, we need to explain what you need to know about the Delta variant. This new dangerous variant continues to emerge. It's now the most common variant in America in here. And unvaccinated people are incredibly vulnerable. This is a serious concern with what experts call the Delta variant, that it's more easily transmittable, this Delta variant, potentially deadlier, and especially dangerous for young people. He says it's the greatest threat to our fight to beat COVID-19. The World Health Organization, or WHO, has called this version of the virus the fastest and fittest. In mid-June, the CDC labeled Delta as a variant of concern using a designation also given to the Alpha strain that first appeared in Great Britain. The Delta variant is more contagious than the other virus strains. People who have not been vaccinated against COVID-19 are most at risk. In the U.S., the Delta variant seems to be impacting younger age groups more than previous variants. The most important thing you can do to protect yourself from Delta is to get fully vaccinated, the doctors say. The Delta could lead to hyperlocal outbreaks. In some cases, a low vaccination town that's surrounded by high vaccination areas could end up with the virus contained within its borders. And the result could be hyperlocal outbreaks. The pandemic could look different than what we've seen before, where there are real hotspots around the country. So, will the COVID-19 vaccines protect you from the Delta variant? Yes, though at a slightly reduced level than against other versions of the coronavirus. And if you got a vaccine that requires two doses, in the U.S. that means the ones made by Pfizer, BioNTech, or Moderna, you need to have gotten both shots and then waited two weeks to reach full immunity. A study based on real-world data from the U.K. found that two doses of the Pfizer vaccine were 88% effective at preventing COVID-19 as a result of an infection with the Delta variant. That's just a notch down from the 95% efficacy it demonstrated in clinical trials against earlier, less transmissible strains. However, for those who've had just a single dose of vaccines made by either Pfizer or AstraZeneca, the effectiveness against the Delta variant was only 33%, the UK researchers found. The effectiveness of one dose of those vaccines against earlier strains had been 51%. These results are backed up by laboratory tests of antibodies produced in response to two doses of the Pfizer vaccine. Those antibodies were able to neutralize the Delta variant, but they did so with a 9.6-fold reduction in efficacy. That's likely to translate into a very modest reduction in effectiveness, since the vaccine mobilizes an army of neutralizing antibodies that is far larger than what is needed to stop or slow replication of the virus in human cells. If you received the Moderna vaccine, are you protected? Well, Moderna said on July 3rd that its vaccine, which is very similar to the Pfizer shot, is also highly effective against several variants of concern, including the Delta variant, the biotech company announced. While still highly effective against the Delta variant, the study showed the vaccine was less effective against it and certain other variants versus the original strain of the virus. What about the J&J? &J? The company announced on July 1st data that demonstrated its single-shot COVID-19 vaccine generated strong, persistent activity against the rapidly spreading Delta variant and other highly prevalent SARS-CoV-2 viral variants. In addition, the data showed that the durability of the immune system lasted through at least eight months, the length of time evaluated to date. The J&J &J vaccine bears a strong resemblance to the AstraZeneca vaccine, which has been widely used in the United Kingdom and was tested against the Delta variant there. In that study, 
Getting both doses was 60% effective at reducing the risk of COVID-19 caused by Delta. Should people still be wearing a mask to protect against the Delta variant, even if vaccinated? Research conducted in the UK from November 2020 to mid-May 2021 found that even the face coverings and social distancing structures in place during most of that period didn't stop the Delta variant from spreading through what was at that time a lightly vaccinated population. However, those measures almost certainly helped slow the virus's spread. Your community's level of vaccination also matters. In early May, the Delta variant elbowed other circulating variants out of the picture more quickly in counties where less than 29% of the population was fully vaccinated, according to a study. But Delta competed strongly when vaccination levels were higher as well. And a number of U.S. counties are currently showing that even when 40 to 50 percent of residents are fully vaccinated, the variant will spread briskly. If you've already had COVID-19, you have some natural immunity, but will that help you against the Delta variant? Sometimes, the Delta variant appears to care that you've got natural immunity, but not always. A study by Columbia University researchers estimated that based on India's recent disastrous wave of Delta-fueled infections, natural immunity is protective approximately half of the time. It's still not known, though, whether it matters which variant infected you before, how long ago you had it, or how robustly your immune system responded to that first infection. Given those uncertainties, if you're willing to run a 50% chance of catching the Delta variant, there's one more piece of data to throw into the mix. A study by the UK's Office of National Statistics tracked more than 300,000 Britons who had tested positive for infection with any variant of the virus. It found that 18 weeks out, almost 14% reported lingering symptoms. If you've been infected recently in the US, there's roughly a 1 in 4 chance it's Delta. That's because about 25% of coronavirus samples being genetically sequenced these days turn out to be the Delta variant, according to the CDC. But as in all things related to COVID-19, this varies widely from state to state and even county to county. In the CDC monitoring region made up of California, Nevada, and Arizona, it's making its way up the charts and is now considered responsible for 38% of new cases. Meanwhile, from the Mid-Atlantic to New England and in the Pacific Northwest, it's just getting started. If you've been vaccinated with any of the COVID-19 vaccines and are experiencing symptoms, you should get tested. You are unlikely to get very sick, but hospitalizations of vaccinated people are being sporadically reported across the country. 